try and keep knee straight himani stretch stretch leg straight yeah and then twist now rotate turn to the right side turn turn focus on the left leg joint yeah maybe keep your head in between the arms kamlesh shaman no need to strain the neck okay and 90 degrees you can go on your elbows if you like you lift one arm up and whichever arm is lifted you push it towards the other arm towards the ground you lift your waist up wrist down focus on the waist focus on what gives you side stretch what can you do to get maximum side stretch down dog up dog gave you front and back stretch right now side stretch find out the point right is it set 70 degrees is it at 110 degrees at what point you get maximum stretch knees straight will strengthen stretch you a lot more strong legs anchor get good grip with your feet so you can lift up Uma, firm up stretch your left arm a bit more <sighs> Reach, reach, try and stretch your elbow as much as you can. Okay, back to down, uh, up dog, and we'll repeat uh, up dog chaturam. So you can put, um, well, maybe try and keep knees uh, in the air. You don't have to go too low. So up dog chaturam. Keep your arms strong, tight, locked. Tail pressed. So mula bandha, root lock. Maintain constant pressure on the tail. Inhale, up, exhale, chaturam. Okay. Just slowly come up. Let's do a few standing um, arm recovery and standing back bend. So shoulder rotations, down dog on the wall. Try and keep all of you have um, tried this before. Try and keep your knees straight and elbow as straight as possible. Knees straight, elbow as straight as possible. It will just take a little bit longer. You will have to slow down a bit, but you'll be able to do it. Face front and then face the opposite side of the arm that is on the wall. Yeah, yeah, guru feet apart may, might help. Yeah, there, yeah, keep elbows straight. It's okay. We want to find out what we can't do. We want to find out what is difficult. I mean, easy, you don't need to come here, right? You can do that on your own. Let's find out what muscles are not engaging, are not strong enough, are not stretched, are tight. And then focus on those muscles. Focus on opening the armpit. That's good, Akshay. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Not only we torture ourselves, <laughs> we do it slowly. <laughs> yeah, that's good, Sitaji. That's good. Take your time. Take your time. Nice and gentle. Okay, down dog on the wall, either with elbows or palms. Push and pull. Tug of war. Force in opposite direction gives you stability. You push forward, pull backwards with equal force, right? As much force. Now, forward force is coming through the weight. You're leaning on the wall. Now, you have to counter that weight by strength, muscle strength, right? So, on one side is the weight and gravity. On the other side is your muscles, your strength, your life force. Push forward, pull backward. You keep walking away from the wall, not on towards the wall. If you walk towards the wall, then you won't have enough leverage. Walk away from the wall. A little bit more forehead on the wall. And then what will you do to get your armpits? What will you do to try and get your armpits on the wall, right? You don't want to reach the point where armpits are on the wall. You want to try to do that. Come on, warm up to Oops. And bridge 
again we're doing the same thing so focus on what is happening see how your armpits are pushing forward and opening you're going to do the same thing but other way around now that was a forward bend shoulder opening now a back bend shoulder opening you should turn around palms on the wall behind your shoulders walk away so you straighten your elbows lock your elbows and then go back keeping elbows straight sit bend knees bend hips lift shoulders up lift shoulders up so pull waist in shoulders up when we do the warm up we focus on specific parts of the body himani don't look back yet yeah sitai that's good pull waist in pull waist in strong arms lock your arms maitri don't look back yet elbows straight kavita that's good madhu nirali good yeah puja that's good puja pull waist in don't push waist forward Rem understand and appreciate how body parts work with each other if you push your waist forward if you bend your knees you don't get as much stretch in, stretch in the shoulders right so you want to pull waist inward okay let's do some backups inhale on the wall exhale come out you try and keep your knees straight in the beginning and then gradually bend the knees remember if you bend your knees you will have that much less back bend in your spine we want to focus on spine not on joints stretch your arms honey stretch your arms stretch yeah then come walk forward keep walking forward as you reach um, lower and lower on the wall Okay, then start looking back. So, look on the wall. Yeah, that's good. Okay, Shaman, come a little bit forward. Yeah, walk forward, Shaman. Madhu, head below hands. Lower your head below hands. Walk down, Himani. Walk forward with your feet. Down with your hands. That's good, Guru. That's good. That's good. Go near fists, Guru. make fists and put knuckles on the floor get tall and long strong lift yep get on your toes big toes go away from earth defy gravity it's very good adik very good slow slow easy easy yeah yeah hands a little bit closer adik not that far apart yeah shoulder wide and get tall how long can you get how much can you lift your waist up kamlesh head below hands lower your head keep arms in place puja head below hands lower more more go all the way you can go arm length below your palms you can lower your head arm length below palms right what happens when you stretch your arms up your head is how low how low below your palm arm length you can keep your palm on the wall and then lower your head your shoulders appreciate the mobility the range of motion in the shoulders Yeah, that's good, Shaman. That's good. Move your feet forward, Shaman. Learn to walk. Move. Yeah, and easy. Look left. Look right. Yeah. Now come back. Walk back with your feet and up with your hands. There. Exactly. Learn to come out nicely, comfortably, without panicking, without stressing your body. Okay. So you're gonna go down. Go down all the way. Come up. When you do on the fist, the fist is not on the wall. Just Start with palm. You can't get grip. Fingertips for grip. That's good, Smriti. Go on the fingertips. count number of strokes those who have been doing it for a while how many times you need to touch the wall to go on the floor 3 is ideal right 1 2 3 and you should be on the floor then coming up one or two is enough if you start high okay let's do standing back bends when we warmed up so we're going to keep knees straight you can face the wall away from the wall uh, if you're towards the wall the closer you are the harder it is because you can't push waist forward so all the bend has to come from the upper back right so adjust the distance start with maybe 4 inches from the wall knees lock right so you push toes down knees up hips in remember these three things in most of the poses when you need stretch toes down knees up hips in right so this area is really strong this part this pushing inward right this right so the closer i am the less back when i get from the lower back the more i have to lift weight because 
if you arch, if you do this, there is not much weight lifting. This is bendy, right? But if I stay here and the wall blocks me, then I have to lift this weight. So there is more strain and strength needed from this point. And gradually, the back bend does increase, right? Same thing with the knees. If I bend this, there is nothing. This is not even engaged, right? I'm, I'm bending the same amount versus this. Toes down, knees up, hips in, right? And this is Jalandhar. This is easier. So do the hard things first. Bending joints, pushing waist forward, bending your neck. Those are easy things. You can do that anytime, right? Once, even when you don't have much energy left. So hands on the waist, Adi. And try and get your waist on the wall. Feet apart a little bit. So distance away from the wall and distance between feet. Both of those things, move on. Both of those things determine the intensity of your back bend. Nice and gentle, slow, slow. Little more, little bit more. Yeah, and come a little bit away. Yeah. Make sure you adjust the distance. If you're too close, I'm doing one hand up and look. Slow, slow. Yeah, control, control. Himani, come away a little bit. Don't intentionally push the wall. Keep your knees straight. Then start bending neck, look back, bend knees. Ashwini, good morning. A few down dog, up dog, Ashwini. Yeah, Guru, bend, start bending knees a little bit. Bring elbows closer to each other. Yeah, firm up, broaden the front. Himani, focus more on your back, less on your knees, please. Liz, slow down. <laughs> Some people have to tell to bend more. Some people have to tell to bend less. <laughs> okay. When you feel you're tired, just lay down. Nirali, if you tried, uh, if you not um, go down, come up without the wall. All right, let's lay down. Do supported fish. Yep, slow, simply slow, slow. Take one arm up. Easy, easy. Yeah, slow, slow, slow. Just tie one hand. Let this one hand come. Come up. Try and stand up without the shift forward. Ara, your shoulder can be harder. Your back can be Yeah. Strong, strong. No, strong. Okay, try again. Try again. Okay, hard sitting. Put a, put a armor. Roller under shoulders. Yeah. It's a Head down, head down, head down, head down. Your floor, head down, head down. But you can't support the um, you answer know, teacher. Head down. Yeah, how you come up? How you lift your hands? No. You can't lift your head. Shift the weight away from your hands. Hands need to like go the other way. Yeah, like that. No, head down. Head up. No, hand on your waist. Just like you think. What one 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 at a time. So we're talking about Icha, want, desire, wish. In the spiritual world, there are many ways to control Icha. Oh, the 
the background is that Icha Dukhki Ma hai. Icha is the mother of yeah. sufferings. <laughs> In the spiritual world, one very powerful way of eliminating Icha, wants, wish, desires, is Samarpan, complete surrender to the Guru. Again, these are there are many um, backgrounds here. You know, guru, the right guru is important to find, right? Otherwise, uh, if you sit in a boat that is made of stone, uh, you will sink with the boat. So you need to find the right guru. And then they say samarpan. Samarpan means hundred percent surrender. Whatever the guru says. The Sanskrit word is tahatti. He said, yes, whatever the Guru says. No icha of our own. No ahamkar. There are many, many, many examples of such Guru and disciple. And in so doing, at times, disciple gets enlightenment before the Guru, because of the Guru. Those who are aware of uh, Ramayana, Ram's ancestor, uh, one of the ancestors was Raja Dilip, Raghuvanshi Raja. And a Guru asks him to serve a cow. And keep moving the roller downwards, towards middle back. Raja Dilip, he's a king and he's taking care of the cow. How is he taking care of the cow? They explain in the Shastras. When the cow walks, Raja walks along with the cow. When the cow sits, Raja sits. When the cow drinks water, Raja drinks water. The king does everything as and when the cow does it. So if that much dedication devotion a king can give to a cow how much dedication devotion should we give to guru one who is going to lead us from darkness to light when we do that we will have no each of our own because we follow whatever the guru says that destroys our ahankar, ego. Vyaktitva. We are talking about two things. Vyaktitva, personality, identity, labels, and existence. What I really am versus what I have become, what I have achieved. Those are Vyaktitva, personalities. Okay, roller under the tailbone. Shaman, move the roller down a little bit. Yeah, slow, Adik, slow, slow, and bring knees down. Now bring knees down, Adik, gently relax, 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 Adik, relax, easy, yes, very good, relax, relax, slow, yeah, yeah, let it go, slow, relax, don't be so stiff, go tight. Okay, remove the rollers, lay down on the floor for a few breaths, neutralize your spine. Please think of this as practice, reciting mantra, focusing, contemplating on a thought helps. Your mind contributes as much or more towards your physical balance, physical strength than doing things physically. Okay, we can go back into the down dog and then if you want to do the rotations, from down dog to chakrasan or from dolphin into dvipad or if you want to go from standing into chakrasan dvipad and then we'll flip so complete back bend right chakrasan dvipad i'm 
until now we warmed up different parts especially the shoulders wrist upper back rib cage now we're going to put it all together knees waist shoulders ribs kamlesh you can try the rotation on the wall himani you do the same down dog on the wall and then rotate knee straight madhu knee straight knee straight madhu feet apart might help yeah and stay there stay there stay slow madhu slow knee straight nearly feet apart feet apart that's good that's good kamlesh yes sita ji strong and long stretch be uncomfortable tear the skin apart be unhappy broaden widen push out of your skin So maybe the hand was too far. If your wrist is bothering you, focus on the alignment. Is your weight on top of your palm arm? You go back a little bit, not too much. Yep, fingertips pointing towards each other. Focus on the different position of the shoulders. When you point fingertips towards each other, towards you, and then away from you. Yeah, knee straight, lock, lock. Use your waist. Use your shoulder rotation, please. Sita ji, knee straight. Don't go. Don't get tempted. Do the hard thing. Adi, knee straight. Can you throw? Yeah, lock. So feet apart, Sita ji, and lock your knees. Wait, I think people are. So watch. Okay. So watch the knees. Right. You start with knees straight. Right. My knees are straight. Down dog. I cross them. Knees are lock, lock, lock knees. Right. Lock knees. So then I have to engage this more. My shoulder more. Lock knees. There is no need to do this. Lock this and firm up, right? What side is down dog, knee straight, cross leg, knee straight, knee straight, knee straight, knee straight. This, this, see there, where the rotation is coming from here and here. This, and don't go too far from the head, don't go too far down like this, right? Then the knee needs to go. stay a little bit on top of the palm, keep looking at the palm. Keep looking at your palm. Look there. Knee straight. Look, 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 look there. Your mental concentration, your physical fo uh, visual focus, all those things are really important, right? Look, 30 seconds in my heart rate is double. Oh, partly I was because I was also talking. No, Sitaji, lock your knees. Start with down dog, knee straight. Cross your legs, knee straight. Maybe walk away a little bit. Yeah, cross your legs first. Now, Sidaji, cross your legs. Wait. Yeah, there you go. Now, 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 rotate, rotate. Yeah, yeah, rotate. Yeah, yeah. See, you see how the left leg is staying straight. Yeah, that's good. Straight, stretch, stretch. Yeah. So maybe you're going too much towards the legs. Stay a little bit towards towards your palm. Yeah, Shaman, that's good. Don't do jerks, Shaman. And lower your head now. Look back a little bit. Yeah, use the wall, Kamlesh. Keep going. Put your left hand on the wall and walk down on the wall. Yeah, look at the wall. Yeah, yeah. Rotate, Kamlesh. Rotate your waist facing up to the ceiling. Yeah, that, that, that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so when you're learning, so Kamlesh, go ahead and bend the knees. Yeah, oh, oh, watch. watch. Yeah, yeah. When you're learning to do the rotation, bending knees will help. Smithy, look up. Hey Pushpak. Yeah. So when I'm trying to rotate, right, like I can bring this up on top, but my hand is the one. I don't know if it's because my hands are weak or I don't know how to move. Are you going too far? Are you going too far? So watch the distance, uh, the positioning of the shoulder versus my palm, right? The shoulder. So if we go too far down, so this is hard, right? So so now from here I find it hard to turn because I think weak of this one. But if I stay on top of it. So maybe you need to start saying this from down to come to plank and then rotate. Right. See, so I'm starting to up. So my wrist, otherwise, if you go down here, then your wrist becomes a weak link. Okay. 
Is it your wrist that's bothering? Try it. Let me see. Yeah, the, my wrist is always bothers and I get stuck right there. Right. So, okay, let I me try the it horizontally. Turning the palm. You see how the palm is on the sideways, not fingers is pointing front, but fingers is pointing sideways. So, here. So, this is what. Wait, I still can't see your palm, uh, Ashwini. You can't see my palm? No, lower and half an inch, the camera. Okay, that's good. That's, that's good. Hey, Edward, start the flip, please. Dvipad, feet, knees on the wall. Hey, so how are you going to, which palm, which arm are you going to lift, uh, Ashwini? This one. Right. No, so see, you didn't move your palm. So your left hand should point to the left side. Like that, yeah, yeah. So now your shoulder will rotate more easily. Okay, you crossed your legs. Okay, because let's go. If when I keep my hand like this, I can't tolerate the weight on this hand. Like this is very hard. <laughs> huh. Like I can't, I can't. Is it? I don't know which body part I should be working out on because this I can't bear my body weight on. I get like wobbly. Okay, so maybe try 45. So I, I don't understand why that should be though. So this is front, right? So if I stay here or here, how does it matter? Does it, does it, so it feels different, both hands, this finger is pointing front, finger is pointing side. How, how does maybe I'll, I'll try right hand. Yeah. Those who are doing flips, sit on the wall, pull tail down, ribs up. Hips down, ribs up. Imani, your fingertips should be pointing to the side, I think. Yours are pointing to the front. Yeah, yeah, that's right, uh, Ashwini. I think that's, that's good. I can hold the right hand better than left. Yeah, yeah. So now, do the same near the wall. So your left hand can go on the wall. So when your right hand is on the floor, right hand is on the floor like this, left right. hand, take this support on the wall, and you can guide, you can guide it down, like this. OK. Okay. okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yep, sure. Flips, Guru, too far. Yeah, come, let's climb the wall and lift your shoulders. You want to bring your shoulders beyond elbows. Shoulders. Yeah, that's good, Akshay. Lower your head now. Maybe stay a little bit closer to the wall, Akshay, so you don't have to stretch your arm so much. You want to bring your head beyond elbows, shoulders beyond elbows. Flip, split, balance, switch in the air. Stay, Adi. Stay, stay. You're doing scorpion. Go closer to the wall, Adi. Yeah, keep lifting, Kamlesh. Firm up. Push your forearms from elbows to fist down. Lift your shoulders up. You want to bring your shoulders above elbows and then beyond elbows with the help of the legs. Guru balance. Firm up your waist. Don't lean so much. Yeah, stand straight. Strong arms will help you firm up your back. Now switch the split, Guru. Slow, slow, slow. Very good. Lower that leg towards the wall. The other leg. Do back bend. Yeah, 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 yeah. Watch, watch, watch. Very good. Yeah. Now take both feet towards the wall, Guru. Stay. Both legs straight. Both legs towards the wall. Straight. No, lift. Lift your right leg up. Slow, slow. No, no, no. We, we don't, don't use the wall. Do that without the wall. So lean towards the wall without bending the knees, without using the wall. You can keep your head on the floor. So dancing peacock with head on the floor without the wall. Yeah, knee straight, Liz. Without the wall. Head stand and then lean your feet towards the wall. Legs towards the wall. Shaman, uh, if you bring your feet down, you will be able to engage your legs a bit more. Okay, now nice and gentle, slow. Think feet, knees, hips, ribs. You push your feet into the wall and then lift waist up. Yeah, so Kamlesh, maybe a little bit away from the wall will give you more room to ba practice balancing. Elbows closer, Ashwini. Yeah, switch, Kavita. Dancing peacock without the wall means you need to be feet need to be straight, right? Not perpendicular to the parallel to the floor, isn't it? Should be. No, I know. We want a back bend, right? What we are practicing yeah. is back bend. So, so you give this place, right? You give this place. 
And so again, you want to focus not on lowering this, but lowering this. You want yeah. this. Right? This is the back leg. You take this. Right. Yeah. Now, after I release one leg at a time, I want to do both legs. This and then this. Yeah. And then I feel my back is engaged enough. Wow. Yeah. This is your dancing people. This intense back leg, right? After staying here for a few breaths, if you feel it's important. All without the wall. Okay. All happens because of this. Like this. From here to here. If this lifts weight, everything else will be fine. Okay. Okay, when you're tired, try and twist, recover. Strong arms will give you strong back that will lift your legs. Yeah, Liz, lean, lean, strong knees, lock in your knees, Liz. Yeah, stretch, stretch, stretch. Hold on to your head, knee straight, knee straight. <laughs> yeah, there, yeah that's easy, easy, easy. In a few days, you're gonna have to balance a lot more when Tate is um, playing around like uh, Kamlesh's daughter. Yeah, look left, look right, strong arms. Lifting head as much as you can, Smithy. Neck was just straight, not Lift your, lift your head up, but with from the shoulders, right? Not so much from the neck. I mean, it should be the shoulders rotating and allowing you to lift your head up. Okay, try twist, recover. Yeah, lift Madhu. Strong arms. You can put your palms on the floor or interlock fingers, whatever you like. Imani, too close. Go away from the wall a bit. Yeah, Sitaji, that's good. So you put your head on the floor and then you are holding to your head, right? And when you're doing that legs leaning on the other side above your head, you're holding on to this pillar. It's not going to move. You're putting too much weight on the head, so it's not going to move. Don't worry. Okay, try a twist. Control. What are you doing? This handstand or scorpion? Once you've done the chase, let's go into the camel round. Okay, Kemal Usra, sir. Those who are starting, those who are learning, <laughs> try and get your waist on the wall, knees on the floor. Those who are comfortable going away from the wall, push your waist beyond knees. Uh, Ashwini, support your back. Ashwini, please. Always start with the support wheels, right? And then mid-air, you can take the support wheels off. So toes on the, on the floor, palms on your back, allows you to engage your body, right? Muscles that need to be in place in order for you to do intense back bend without those support wheels. So eventually, Kavita is going to straighten the toes out, right? She's going to take the feet uh, uh, flat. Then she'll take the hands off the back. But that is after all the places are in, right? Once you start flying, you don't need the wheels. But you do need the wheels to take off. Huh? 
Yeah, guru, broaden, broaden the shoulders. Yeah, thumbs in. Yeah, rotate your arms. That broadens your chest. Yeah, well, there's head on the floor too. So maybe palms on the uh, namaste list and interlock fingers and then see if you can load your head that way. Yeah, Uma, feet flat and straighten. Madhu, try getting head on the floor. Kamlesh, maybe come an inch or two away from the wall and then turn your toes in. You need to be able to push feet down, Ash uh, Himani to you too. Yeah, like that. Go Yeah, yeah. Himani, turn your feet in like go No, Himani. Toes on the floor, like that. Yeah, just like that. What you just did. No, no, that's feet flat. Like that. Yeah, yeah. And then you should be able to push your toes down into the floor, into the mat. Yeah, let's see if you can get elbows on the floor and touch your toes, big toes. Yeah, uh, Ash uh, Ashwini, try thumbs in. How will you rotate your arms to bring thumbs in and fingers out? Start with thumbs in and then thumbs out. This. Okay. This is thumbs in. So, Himani, Kamlesh, you see this? This grip is important, right? This. This is thumbs in, and then you rotate. So when you rotate, what happens to the shoulders? And you rotate. So this is thumbs in, and when I rotate, this comes out. The arms rotate. It lifts the rib cage up, right? So this is sunk. Same thing happens in the up dog. Then thumbs out. This. So when I feel that my back is engaged, then I can let go of. All these supports, right? These, these, these. And now my back is lifting the weight while bending. You need to engage the back first using your toes, using your arms supporting the back. Yeah, it was on the floor, Smithy. It was on the floor and touch your toes. See if you can reach. Lift waist up a little bit. You're not far. Just get elbows around your head, like three part. Feet, uh, palms flat. Supta Virasan, Parinkasan, fish in Supta Virasan. Trying to get knees on the floor. Yeah. Cobra, flying cobra, and then locust. So from cobra, baby cobra to cobra, and then interlock your arms above your back for flying cobra. And for locust, we'll bring arms under the ribs. Again, tighter your arms. 
the easier will be the flying cobra let's lower the shoulders maybe a bit bend elbows slightly yeah yeah there yeah yeah move palms forward maybe a bit and you can do the lion let's do it in lotus both um, flying cobra and uh, cobra and uh, locust you can do in lotus relax your eyes relax your eyes Avita, relax your eyes <laughs> Up into tighter arm. This this should be tighter. Back should be tighter. Not the neck and the, yeah. Uh, maybe don't lift legs. They put feet on the wall. Or put legs down. Yeah, just lift upper body. Yeah, there. Just, just yeah. There. They go back a little bit. Maybe put push feet into the wall. Bend elbows slightly. Yeah, bend elbows. Yeah, so bend back more by bending elbows. Palms a little bit forward might be better. Bend knees. Toes towards head. Point toes. Bend knees more. Point toes down towards you. Yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Lift your wrist. Toes point towards you. Yeah, there. Yeah. yeah, Ashwini, good. Bend knees a little bit more. Hold ankles. Yeah, it's good. From flying cobra to Danurasan. Bow. That's good, Nirali. That's good. Very good. Legs pull arms, Himani. Point toes down. First, lift knees up, then anchor knees on the floor. First, a U shape. Visualize a U shape, right? Lift knees as high as you can. Maitri, lower your screen a bit. Then, rectangle. Knees closer. Um, Sitaji, hold your ankles, not just the feet, not just the toes, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, those who are comfortable, go into flying cobra, one arm up, and see if you can reach the other foot. Put one hand on the floor. One arm comes from up. Like this. This hand will come up here and wait. Shoulder behind ears. You want the arm. Remember that, Rajasan? You want the arm to go behind ears. This. Yeah, yeah. So that's good. Hold tight. This is a big toe. See, it's bada Yeah, yeah. Maybe bend the left elbow slightly. Yeah. Let the let the right arm go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Open the shoulders. Open the arms. Once you have the grip. You want to straighten the knee, let the leg go back, let the arm be pulled. Yeah, it's this knot here. Maybe it's the left shoulder, the right side. That's good, Akshay. That's good. Let the arm go back, Akshay. Let the leg pull the belt and the arm. Yeah, yeah, let it go. Exactly. So you start with knee bent and then try and straighten the leg out. What will that do? It will pull your arm back, right? Maitri, that's good. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't be so fidgety. Easy. Slow, slow, slow. Feel, see, experience. That's good, Sitaji. Firm up. Graceful, stable, steady. Imani, bring shoulders under ribs. Arms under, yeah, like that. Really, really round the uh, back. Yeah. Sure, push back. Both legs has to be up and pulling or? No, no, what you are doing, start with one leg, right? So what Kavita is doing, you start with one leg and eventually we'll do the both. So, you know, it's more like it's in a way uh, the Nurasan, but with arms up, right? So if you uh, are doing this, this is limited, right? Now you can't actually go much higher. Uh, but what you are doing here, right, this, so you use the belt, right? So you start with one and eventually, yes, we will hold both. Okay. Right? And then you can lift a lot higher. Right? So this is a lot more back bend than this. Right? In this, you're locked. This is it. I mean, I can't go any higher. And I'm not using my shoulders as much. Okay. Versus Natarajasan. Remember Natarajasan, when you do the standing with the belt, you can keep going really, really high. Right? The waist can bend, shoulders can open a lot more. And plus your 
pushing with one hand, right? Your back. That's right. Yeah, yeah. You uh, you're supporting with one hand. You can actually go against the ball, put your chin on the ball. So this is different than the hand comes from up. Yeah. Yeah. So what we are doing there is shoulder behind ear, right? Arm behind ear. Let the arm go back, not pull forward. Not not this, right? This is arm doing. This is back leg pulling. Yeah, that's good, Sita ji, right? Yeah, nearly just like this, in between the big toe and little toe, and then rotate both. Right there, right there. You're really close. Once you're warmed up, you might be able to do with the foot as well. The whole foot, you can get the grip. And, 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 yeah, yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, I know that at one point, those shoulder blades have to push against each other and then open up again. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you know, I still hesitate um, when I, uh, before I'm doing both um, together. So. But you're not far nearly. Locusts, if you haven't done locusts, you can use the wall, go close to the wall, keep knees touching the wall, and then you can climb up higher. Yeah, Liz, if you feel comfortable, maybe palms a little bit further on the side and put a bit more weight on the chin, chest. Yeah, there, yeah, easy, easy, easy. With your right foot, you can hop a little bit forward, right? This. So if I keep my knees bent, this, right? So the more this leg is forward, this, right? The more this leg is on the floor, if it is further back, then I get I can't lift as high. But if this comes forward. Lift more. Yeah, so go closer. No, come out. Bend your knees and knees touching the wall. Our elbows under might help. Arms, Strong arms, which you tight back. Slow, 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 always return forward. When you return from your back bend, your recovery should happen already. Recover in the pose. Okay, lay down, take a few breaths. Crocodile breathing. Hold your arms, forehead on forearms. Toes pointing to the side. Yeah, nearly go off the wall. Strong arms, tight back. Yeah, you lay down flat for the um, crocodile breathing. Four, uh, legs straight, and point your toes to the side. Drashya, which is seen, and drasti is the vision. Drashya, that which we are seeing, keeps changing. The one who is seeing is constant. It applies to things. 
applies to situation, applies to body. A child, a person may not recognize the childhood photo. The screen on which the scene is projected. Where is the vision arising from? We focus on what we are seeing instead of who is the one that is seeing. Upyog means when the drasti, the ability to see, stays within the one, stays on the one who is seeing. Instead of mixing up with what we are seeing, becoming one with the one who is seeing. Slowly come up. We still have a few minutes. Let's do maybe um, the Ardha Chandrasan pigeon. And then if you still want, we can do the that Rajasan. So uh, we've done the PGM, right? This one. The Gomukhasan. And then leg straight. So let's try this other Chandrasan, the warrior one. This warrior one. And then if I put this knee back, then this thigh keeps coming forward, forward, forward. And start here. PGM name comes from this chest, right? No, not this. This. Sternum to sky this so what i'm doing i'm as i'm pulling this i'm lifting this up this okay. nice and gentle one more time let your body slowly get into the stretch okay. if you're comfortable here arms can go up shoulders behind ears this those who are able to bend me in this please step wise don't rush your focus your goal is a stretch, not shape. You don't need to look like me. You need to feel like yourself. Yeah, Sitaji, maybe foot back a little bit. No, Sitaji, foot back. No, don't pull it forward. Yeah, you want, yeah, yeah. So take your right foot back, Sitaji. Yeah, 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 yeah. You want to be able to leverage. So right distance is important. Kavita, foot forward. If your ankle bends like that, uh, again, become aware of uh, it yourself. Is your ankle bothering you at just a distance? If you're too close, then your ankle will hurt. If you're not able to get enough stretch, if your knee bothers you, then you're too far. Yeah, that's good, mother. Yeah, yeah Guru, get, get the left thigh to left calf. Yeah, keep stretching. It is the right side that you're stretching when your left foot is forward. Akshay, yeah, that's good. Very good, Akshay. See, almost the floor. Move your right foot forward. Move the goal post a little bit ahead. Yeah, Shaman. Liz, straighten up a little bit. Left side of the waist forward, Liz. Easy. Rotate, rotate. Waist, yeah, waist, yeah. Face front, yeah, there. You, yeah, I maintain that. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's okay to push right knee to the right. That's right. Yeah, Uma. Strong and long. First up and then arms behind ears, shoulders behind ears. Strong back, left thigh towards the floor. Liz, Nirali, and those are the very good Himani. There, nice, nice. Keep taking arms behind, below head, Himani. Those who are comfortable will do the opposite. Will bend the back knee and straighten the front leg. Liz, Nirali, you see that? Yeah, straighten the right leg uh, in the front and bend the back knee. So, carpet might be better, right? You can start um, in this pose. Okay. You can start here and then you're doing this back bend and then you walk forward, 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 keep going, right? This, and then you can bend the back knee. This. Balancing is a little bit harder. So, if this leg is firm, toes pointing towards you, or maybe on the wall, it will help with the balance. If um, split is the challenge, you can always put a rug, roller, block under this, right? It's under the pose. Yeah, 
noch eingeleitet wird. Yeah, you see, so when you bend your leg in the back, it goes to the side. So you need to correct for it, right? Your left foot is going to go to the right side. So you need to adjust, you need to bring the leg back. Um, don't sit on it, uh, Madhu. You just need that pillow under the left thigh, I think, in the front. Well, adjust it. Yeah, yeah, Sitaji, you're good. Very good. Yeah, can you bend left knee, Sitaji? I don't see it. See if you can put the weight on the roller. Your right thigh should rest on the roller. Yeah, don't, don't, don't sit and don't be passive though. You know, just push. Yeah. Can you take your arms up or no? Yeah. Bend left knee. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you all need to have cameras in front of you so you smile, no matter what uh, torture is happening to the body. <laughs> Forward, yeah. yeah, Kamlesh, you see how your left foot is gone sideways. Uh, so do with the wall maybe. Lock your foot. Yeah, Nirali. Good. Push your, bend your knee and put your foot on the wall. Uma, that's good. That's good. Yeah, now look up, Uma. Keep your hands on your waist. Yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Keep looking up. Keep looking up and then look back to the camel. There. Very good. Very nice. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Bring shoulders, elbows closer to each other in the back, Uma. Uh, Kamlesh, what I meant is. Here, watch. Uh, Wait, let me show you side face. Here, Kavita will do it. Bend your knee and knee touching the wall. No, sure. Yeah, go all the way. There, right up there. Yeah. And one leg forward. Yeah. And that, that, that way, right? So your knee is locked against the wall this way. Right. Yeah, there. Yeah. Now climb your hands up on the wall and then walk down on the wall. Right? Gradually. Take your time. Take your time. Right? Stretch your focus on the left leg. That is your foundation. This leg. Take them. Yeah, so you can use the blocks to go into the split, right? Yeah, Guru, so now left thigh towards the floor, left thigh, yeah, yeah, that knee that is um, you're on, now you want to bring it down, so right, you start with... Um, Let's say you started here, right? Now I want this flat and I want this on the floor, right? So I keep crawling, keep crawling, keep crawling, keep crawling, keep crawling to this, right? So again, use the block, right? Put the weight. So weight, balance, and stretch. Remember three things, how many balls you can juggle in the air same time? Weight, balance, and stretch, right? If I'm doing this in the middle of the room, I also have to balance. If I'm against the wall, I don't have to worry about balancing. Weight, if I don't have blocks, if I'm not able to engage my arms, I have to lift weight. With the parts that are also stretching, weight, balance, and stretch. If I take the weight off of these parts that need to stretch by using block, by engaging my arms, right, my arms are free. So now my arms take some weight away from the this area, this part that need to stretch. So then stretching becomes a bit easier. Yes? And then when I feel that all three I can do, I can balance. That's Anumanasan. When you stay on the back leg, that is Anumanasan Guru. So in pigeon, you know, it's only a back bend. When you do Hanuanasan, you get front and the, the front leg and the back stretch, right? And twist, warrior one. Think warrior one. So your left side of the waist when it comes forward. Like this. Just like, remember how in warrior one, when you take the one leg back, the waist goes back. The waist doesn't need to go back. Waist you align facing front. Left right. Twist. Left side coagul out. Waist. Okay, if you want to do Natarajasan, go ahead and do so, and then we'll 
going to recover ERAP of poses. Roll to the cookie, so we can even put the hand in the roll. Please use belt frugally as little as possible. Start bend knee and hold the belt really, really close to the foot as if you want to hold the foot, but because you can't, you know, Sitaji, closer. Yeah, really, really close. And release very slowly, very little at a time. How much candy would you give to the kids? You don't want to, but just a little bit so the kids would listen. <laughs> Adi and Arita are laughing. Goal is to lift me high. Good, Maitri. Rotate knee high, waist front, waist front. Liz, straighten up a bit. Uma, look straight. Very good. Knee high. That's good. Uma, knees high. Ashwini, knee a bit higher. Head back, face front, balance, grip the floor with the big toes. Imani, wait. Foot away from you. Make a circle with your arm and your leg. Not towards you. Away from you. Let it go. Let the foot go. Let your fist go away from you. Yeah, chest forward, um, Shaman. Yeah, yeah. You can lean on the wall that way, Shaman. Or you can put one hand on the wall. If you're holding the belt with right hand, left hand can be on the wall if you face the wall. Yeah, like that. Yeah, and then lean a bit on the wall. Yeah, that. So you see, uh, that was really easy, Shaman, to rotate. So how about if you use less belt a bit? Don't use so much belt. Use a bit less belt, and then you will need to rotate more. If you have more belt, belt is rotating, right? You don't feel that. Uh, just to keep those who are able to lift knee high grounded, you know, this is not uh, end of uh, the story. You keep doing the vertical split. Visualize that nearly. Your leg, your foot will keep going higher and higher. Again, the goal is not contortion, but goal is stretch to keep your upyog on the yog. If it is not a stretch, your mind starts wandering. Very simple. For some, in a forward bend, touching the knees is a stretch. Others need to get elbows to the floor. Push the foot away from the hip, Himani. Open the knee, Himani. No, yeah, yeah, that, that. Same with the elbow. Let the uh, let the palm go away from the shoulder. Away. Make a circle. Don't pull. Let it go. Push away. Uma, try both hands in the belt. Yeah, that's good, Kavita. Now keep your head forward and let just the arms go back. You don't need to tilt your head so much. Yeah, maintain Jalanda. Breathe. Guru, start with less belt. Or walk down on the belt. Yeah, Uma, very good. Very nice. Yeah, strong, strong, strong balance. Mental, visual concentration allows you physical balance. It helps with the physical balance. Lift knee, puja. Use less belt or walk down on the belt. Okay, let's wrap up. Just the waist. Uh, if you feel it. Yathajak, Kukutasan. Let's start recovery. Lower back. We warm up for back bends, upper back. We recover lower back.
lower back is flexible. The front is strong. Twist. Waist facing front, shoulders to side. Yeah. Those who are comfortable, lays nirali, shoulders towards back. Yeah, keep going, keep going. Yeah. Move your palms, anchor your palms, heels on the ground, heels on the ground. Sit on your feet, Sitaji. Don't lean so much in the hands. Hands are just for anchoring and for twisting, right? Without the hands, the spring of the spine will come back. You won't be able to twist as much. Yathajat Ashwini, head to floor, head to toes, big toes. In Kukutasan, head between the knees. Touch the floor. Yeah, twist, twist, puja. Look back, uh, Kamlesh, if you can. Stretch your arms sideways, nearly. No, no, sideways, straight. Yep, yeah, yeah. Push, push, push. Head in, head in. Look to the ceiling. Look toward the sky. Exhale, Ashwini, India. Yeah, lower. Lower, head to floor. Keep going, keep going. Lean forward. Yeah, focus on the shoulder, Shaman. Focus on the shoulder, how the shoulder needs to rotate. If you use less belt, you will need to rotate the shoulder. If you use too much belt, then you don't feel it. Firefly, Bakasan. Imani, try crane, Bakasan. Lift knee, Shaman. Yeah, easy, easy, easy. And wake up your foot. Keep your leg alive. Come up. There, yeah, yeah, that's good, that's good. Push your waist forward, lean on the wall. Place strong arms. Okay, once you've done a couple forward bends, weight lifts, then twists. Upvishta Konasan, legs split or legs closer in Parivruta Paschimottanasan. The Western with legs together. Yeah. Or legs apart. Bend elbows, smoothly bend elbows. Yeah. Elbows go bend. Yeah. Go back. Yeah. But the fingertips. Maybe you do it wrong. Left hand is pointing to the left. Yeah. yeah. So the left button. Elbow to if you're doing the Upishta Konasan, lock your elbow. So right elbow, lock on the floor. No, on the floor. Yeah, yeah. And then hold the knee or the foot, whatever you're comfortable with. No, upper foot. Yeah, this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bend that right knee. Bring it into the little bit. Yeah, and then you can use it up. Slowly, yeah, slowly you sit there, exactly. So your goal is to bring your head up and through the arms. Right? So locking that elbow in, in the beginning helps. Yeah, so Liz, left hand will hold the right foot, no? Left, left hand, crisscross. Left hand will hold the right foot. Right, yeah, like that, yeah. No, <laughs> right hand will hold the left foot. Yeah. <laughs> so just getting into the pose is a little bit um, and tricky, right? So this, right? This, so this. Start here, and then this, right? This. Once you feel that you're warming up, warming up, warming up. So I'm using my elbow anchor. When my spine loosens up, then I can go off of it. There. Okay. 
and you're doing just a parivrta paschimottanasa then it's just this but it's still opposite right so right left left right this head in between the shoulders and through the arms above the arms that right, yeah. So gradually this will come here. Then just use a big toe. Put the big toe. Yeah, there. So you get some more room. That's good. Yeah, go. Yeah, there. Nice and gentle. Focus on stretch. This is recovery, right? Bend knees. Yeah, bend knees, Himani. Yeah, yeah. Just the elbow. That's it. Now you don't need to hold the foot, Himani. Just the elbow is enough. Just the right elbow to left knee is enough. Yeah, there. And twist, twist, and and almost there at the foot. Yeah, with that hand, left hand, hold the right foot. So one elbow against the knee, another, no, left hand, right foot. No, no, forget the left hand, left foot. Forget the left foot. Your left, yeah, left hand, right foot. And le right elbow, left, right there, right there. Yes, yeah, now get gr solid grip with your elbow and your fingers and twist. Come on, look up to the ceiling. Yeah, let the left shoulder go back. By the way, don't get frustrated if I yell at you with for the left and right. You have no idea how much I have had to practice because you know your left is your left, but your left is my right. <laughs> so so I, I'm more messed up than you, or I was at least. Okay, Paschimottanasan. Well, let's do the Mayurasan peacock first and then we'll do Paschimottan. Running out of time. At first, we were early and then we became mm -hmm. extra. Sorry. We go for 10 15 seconds and then 15 minutes. Don't worry about lifting head or feet, anything. Just stay in place. Keep big toes on the floor if you need to. Just a, is that any big toes over there? No, just a big toes. Yeah, just a big toes. Now keep feet on the floor and see if you can lift your head and stay there. So not, not always keep air in the stomach. Exhale, inhale very quickly. And keep breath in the stomach so elbows don't push the stomach. Peacock, when done properly, firms up your back. Anything that firms up your back will help you recovery. Does it make sense? So not only forward bend, but strong, tight, straight back will also help you with recovery. Okay. Pashimottanasan, turtle or butterfly, whichever forward bend you would like to do, and then we'll do the yoga. Pashimottanasan is legs stretched out, butterfly is feet to feet, and arms underneath the knees will be turtle. So elbow, Kamlesh, right elbow against left knee would help. You need solid anchor. Remember, we want to stretch the spine, but we can't do it in the air. We can't stand in air or in water, right? We need some ground. Solid anchoring is important. Maybe start closer to the wall. Even closer. No, no, come up. Head touching the wall. Because it's going to slide out. No matter what you do, you're going to slide away. So start closer. Pull, 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 Uma. Forward, forward bend, right? Pull, Siddhaji. Pull, hold your feet tight and pull. What will you do to get your head to your toes? Yeah, bend knees a bit more, Shaman, and hug your legs, thighs to stomach. So bend your knees and then hug. No, no, not, not this way. Yeah. This way, like this. So, so you know, there's a gap like this, so you should do this. Okay. Stomach to thigh, like this. And then slowly, without separating this, you can keep going. Keep going. As much as you can. Okay, okay Yoga Nidra. Shoulders stand for a couple breaths. Then walk down on the wall, feet on the wall. Reverse Western. And then Yoga Nidra. Shoulder stand again firms up your back, right? Anything that straightens, tightens, firms up your back is a recovery after back bends. So always start closer to walk with the head too. So that way you can go into Pasimotana from uh, Right. Closer, closer, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, keep 
your hands on the wall, actually try that. Yeah, yeah, now try and lift. So see, your back will have to be really firm. Slow, no. Yeah, stretch both legs. Yeah, and then firm up. Push the wall. Yeah, there. So just, just do it slowly. Instead of yeah, tight back, tight back. See, that's the recovery. Himani, don't let the feet go too far behind the nose. So keep toes above the nose. Yeah, it's back straight, back straight. Support your back, close up the shoulders. Yeah, Uma bend knees, exhale, let go. Knees to shoulders and then knees to floor. Lower your back a little bit, Puja, ah, Puja, stay. Liz, lower waist a bit, lift your head up. Lower hips, Guru, lift your head. Yeah, come up, come up through. Yeah, very good. Head above hips. On your back, slightly on your back, Kavita. Lower, lower the back, Kavita. Next. Yeah, there, yeah, and there. Yeah, uh, hold your feet, Kavita, and bring your head up. Feet apart, Smriti. And grip. Hold your ankle. Hold your ankle tight. Put feet into the wall. Hands from inside is better. No? And push it on the knees. Push. Push. Head above hips, right? Shoulders above knees. Shaman, keep feet firm, alive. Point your toes, feet firmly on the wall with control. Puja, lift waist a bit, toes above nose, back straight. Yeah. Let the feet go away from the wall, Puja. Yeah, hold, hold, strong arms, elbows closer to each other. That's good, Kamlesh. That's good. Bring feet closer to each other as you spread knees apart, Kamlesh. Sitaji, round your back. Guru, do snail after plow, please. So plow knees straight, right? If you do plow knees straight, back straight, then you want to recover. After aggressive, always do milder. After headstand, you should do shoulder stand. After plow, you should do halasan. Around your back, Puja. Okay, let's go into Sukta Virasan. Or butterfly on the wall, or knees on the wall. When we do legs on the wall, we want hips to touch the wall. When we do knees on the wall, you want to be a few inches away from the wall. Because knees, yeah, that's good, Shaman. Knees need to touch the wall or feet on the roller. So put the roller block against the wall, and then your feet will be on That butterfly, Smriti, you want to push the knee. So do the butterfly on the wall. Now pull feet towards you and see if you can get knees on the wall. Feet away from the wall and knees on the wall. Let go. Relax for a few breaths. Monk Labdivallab says, whatever we can see is separate from us. Seeing is not limited to physical material things. Seeing versus the curtain. Seeing also applies to thoughts, emotions, and feelings. And the Sanskrit mantra is nasti, nasti, that is not me. Everything and anything that you can see 
the practitioner says that is not me. Emotions, feeling anger. That is not me. Swabhav means my nature and vibhav means the other. Water in a pond is the swabhav. It's the nature of the water to be still. When somebody throws a pebble, ripples arise. That is vibhav, vikalp, alternatives, thoughts. If I do this, then this will happen, then I will do that. Vibhav, vikalp, alternates. Let them go. Steady, stable, calm. centered, still. Constant. That which is changing is not permanent. That which is not permanent cannot be relied upon. My body changed in 10 years. It must be changing every year, every month, every day, every minute, every moment. It is changing right now. Thoughts come and go. Seen comes and goes. Do not flow with the scene. Uda seen, put a seen, one who sits up on the top of the mountain and observes. Three mantras, Mantra of the Vallabh gives. Whatever is happening is right, is for good. I can do nothing. I'm happy without any reason. Everything that's happening is right. I can do or change nothing. I am happy without any cause. Deep breath in, slowly coming out of Dhyan Yoga, internalize the learning, dissolve from it. Another deep breath, become alert and aware. Sure. 
Ashwini Himani, glad you both joined. <laughs> they know it's hard. <laughs> Thank you, Pushpak. It's difficult when you get back to work, right? We are all used to working from home from past two years. It is a transition. It hasn't been helping. But, but, but hopefully you feel rewarded after the practice. That's right. Yeah. I try hard to join. Thank you so much. Have a good weekend, everybody. Thank you, Pushpak. Thanks, Pushpak. Thank you, Pushpak. Thank you, Pushpak. Thank you for the Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Shaman, that's good. You are able to all of us walk too fast, Shaman. Yeah. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. जब भी मैं हेड स्टैंड या फिर कुछ ऐसा करने के लिए कोशिश करती हूँ मेरा ये नेक पे ये वाला बोन बहुत पेन होता है. So don't. Going to dancing, so use your uh, arms to lift the balloon. Yes, come to me. So Pooja, I am this neck pain. I was trying to do any kind of physical thing, um, and then your hands down. Doing it, and you do it on the hand. Right. So that really didn't. Okay. Put too much weight on the head. Think of it as elbow stand. Okay. Doing inversion. Put your weight on your arm instead of your head. Okay. And then you bring the bhatta. What is your work? Then you want to the strain in the joint. Got it. And then after the exercise, right arm. Sure. That happened with me, but uh, like, you know, how you talk about the day, don't put weight. So today I didn't try my best to do, and I tried this, like, like on the wall. I didn't have to pull up, but at least I'm not putting weight on the neck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's start with this little body. Yeah. You know, anything, yeah. anyway, weight, 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 we